today I'm gonna shoot grades with a laser and with a water level and let's see what kind of results we get. All right, so in this corner, we have the water level. A water level is nothing more than a clear tubing pipe or hose, whatever you want to call it, and uh, full of water. This one actually has windshield wiper fluid so that it doesn't freeze in the winter, and it's a lot easier to see. And as you guys can tell, both ends are perfectly level. Water always seeks its own level. So it doesn't matter that you put it in a tubing or a bucket or even a lake. It's always going to be level. So that's the idea behind a water level. You hold this end, for example, at this pipe, you hold it on this line, and then somebody else takes this other end and they can take it to the other pipe and then just hold it against the pipe and wait for the water to settle. And whenever the water settles, then that line over there is level with this line over here or you know the water level so it's a uh, it's pretty basic stuff but it works really well i mean people have been using water levels for centuries that's what this metal guys like to use wd metal buildings prefer to use a water level because it always works they always have them with them no batteries nothing needed and like i said they only need to shoot level one time because what they do is they shoot level on all the pipes they put their marks there and then they work off of those marks the rest of the time they're at the job site. A water level is a little bit slower than, than a laser level. However, like I said, it, it always works. All right, and in this corner, we have the laser level. So the way a laser level works, you see that spinning head, it shoots a laser beam, 360 degrees, and then you have a receiver, such as this one, that whenever you hold it up, right there when you get that uh, solid beep that means it's level um, if it was dark we could see the laser beam all the way around so technically it'd be a lot faster if it was like really early in the morning or really late in the evening or at night because then you could just shoot the beam and then you can just go around and mark these pipes lickety split however it's daylight so we need the receiver so I'm gonna shoot grades with my level and I'm gonna see if there's a difference between the two. So what I'm gonna do, I set it up, this one should be higher than the other one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot and I'm gonna put a mark on every pipe all the way around. Then when I'm done, I'm gonna take a tape measure and measure between the marks. And I should be able to get the same distance from one to the other. And uh, if they're not, then one of them is off. Let's find out. All right, so I'm gonna set the camera right here and I'm gonna go mark every pipe with the laser. The way a laser works is it shoots a beam all the way across, perfectly level, 360 degrees. So this receiver right here picks up the signal. You're probably going to be out of camera, but you can, you can guys can hear that. That solid beep, that means it's perfectly level. So right now it's about here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put it up against the pipe, slide it up and down. And wherever this, this notch is right here, that's where I'm going to mark it. All right, so I got all the pipes marked. Well, not all of them, I only did six pipes. I did not want to go over there where those guys are welding under that truss, because that's not safe. So I stayed away from them. But six pipes, I think is plenty. So let me grab a tape measure, and I'm gonna go measure the difference between the marks. Moment of truth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure between the lines. This is the line that we made with the laser. This is the line that was made with the uh, water level down here. Okay, so we're gonna measure between the lines. I'm gonna hold this at 10 inches right here. Right on the line, up and move. There it is. So we're right at 17 inches. All right, let's go to the next one. Right there, 10 inches. We go down here. Man, that's super close. All right go to the next one right there 10 inches down here 
man that looks dead on again got another mark up here it's right at 10 inches and down here oh looks like we might be off about an eighth of an inch maybe all right last one put it right at 10 inches and down here dead on again 17 all right so looks like they're all perfect except for this one maybe off maybe about an eighth of an inch i think that that says a lot for the water level or the laser <laughs> i mean one of them is off uh i guess if i had to put my money on one it'd probably be the the laser level because it is faster to use so it's probably faster to go around and get all your dimensions where the uh, water level it uh, takes a little while to settle so maybe they didn't wait long enough and maybe they missed it by about an eighth of an inch but i mean that's pretty impressive if you think about it uh because the distance from that pipe to that pipe over there is about 60 feet so if they're only off by an eighth of an inch over 60 feet that's still pretty impressive uh anyway i don't know what do you think i mean one of them is off <laughs> that's the problem we don't know which one uh so again i think the laser level is obviously what we use when we do concrete work but the water level for their purpose is perfect because like i said it always works it never requires batteries uh and uh, you always have it with you these guys keep it in their trailer they uh they've been using it for a long long time so i think it's accurate enough for what we're doing uh regardless one or the other let me know in the comments if, if uh which one you think is off like i said i don't i've never actually compared the laser to anything else and uh said i don't know the the water level should always be perfect and but like i said whenever you move it it kind of bounces a little bit so maybe that's what created the discrepancy but i don't know it's too close to call regardless all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this short video comparing the water level to the laser let me know which one you think is best we'll see you next time we are texas barnuminiums